Because we can actually start recording scores. Um, but there's something even a little more cool that you can do in Wadhopper. And that is you can um, view, visualize the entire class um, in, a single, in a single view. So what happens oftentimes is you'll want to know if you're programming five by five back squats, people will judge how heavy to go based upon their previous one rep max. So it's important mm -hmm. for them to be able to look that up easily. In, oh. in um, many gyms, it's done on pen and paper. So people are running around getting out pen and paper and they're pulling out calculators or they might have a dedicated app just for tracking this kind of information. Um, what Wadhopper does is it lets a coach pull up the information for the entire class. So you say, look up, back squat, and it's going to pull up all the people who have checked into the class their back squat, telling me that I have a 295 back squat that I tested 62 days ago, and Oliver's got an 80 pound back squat last tested today. Um, another thing that many people want to do is know what their percentages are. So what that means is like, what would be 65, 70, 75, and 80% of your one rep max. And this calculates that automatically for you. Oh, so that's doing, cool. Yeah, if we're doing five sets of five back squat, I'm gonna start in somewhere around 190 and work up to 236 in this session. And in your experience with customers, this is a pretty specific, I'm guessing, um, CrossFit thing. Are there other gyms that do this? The, as well uh, this? Any strength and conditioning gym, any okay. powerlifting gym would use this uh, quite extensively, uh, that, especially if they're using class based. So anyone doing starting strength or anything like that would definitely use this. Oh, okay. But CrossFit gyms, uh, this was definitely inspired by, you know, the thousands and thousands of CrossFit gyms that are out there. Cool. Um, another cool thing you can do um, is you can time the entire class's workout. So mm -hmm. for instance, we can select the workout is 10 rounds for time, which was a timed workout. And it's going to bring up this timer. And when I say start, it's going to start counting down. And what happens in a CrossFit gym is you're kind of um, trying to do this workout as quickly as possible. Um, right. This workout was um, 10 rounds for time, uh, deadlifts, 135, and push-ups. So still maintaining perfect form, you attempt to perform this workout as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. And when you finish... You want to know how long it took because we might repeat this workout in the future to see if you've gotten better than last time. So um, what happens in a lot of CrossFit gyms right now is that people will write this down on a whiteboard or they'll try to remember it and put it in their phone later. But with Wadhopper, when a person finishes the workout, they shout time and their coach just taps their tile mm -hmm. and it automatically records their time. That's cool. As well as their scaling options. And so... This can even be integrated with a camera function. So a coach could take pictures of members for social media um, or just to show them if, you know, how they're looking in terms of performing the movements correctly um, and other features like that as well. So when we're done, we've got,